I was a watchtower witness, and I was under their complete control. Every thought that I had was only of my spiritual goals. The elder said I would go far if I submitted to God's will. I believed every word, and I swallowed every bitter pill. Day in and day out I worked under the faithful slave, and I saw a need for every man to be taught, to be saved. I was warned that apostates were like rocky shoals. I listened and agreed. I wouldn't let them ruin my spiritual goals. Yes, my eyes were all but completely closed. My hopes and my dreams were being bulldozed. But one day I was reading a book or magazine, and I saw something strange, something I had never seen. It was a logical fallacy, and it was most bizarre. I thought, maybe these truths aren't what I think they are. As I looked around, I kept noticing half-truths and faults. Unrest filled my mind, making it spin and dance like a waltz. Realizing that what you believed is actually a house of cards is most unsettling. It really is quite hard. I struggled with embitterment, dismay, and disillusion until one day I made up my mind and came to a resolution. Why would I remain in an organization I could not trust? That it too was like anything made only from dust. My heart was not in it and I began seeking a way out, though I knew that leaving it would mean entering a social drought. All of my friends and my family, everyone I ever knew, would pretend I never existed, that everything I said was untrue. So I struggled and languished and was awake many a sleepless night. Making the right decision is hard. It's a real fight. So I began posting videos. I had to warn others about the things that I know. Suddenly, I felt a weight lifted, and from here on out, I could finally grow. Both in knowledge and emotion, I could discover new things. I no longer feared the elders. I was free, as if I had wings. So now I tell you that pleasing man is not like pleasing God, because men will never be happy. They'd sooner beat you with a rod. Elders are intolerant, embittered, distrustful, judgmental, and angry. These bad emotions can spread through a congregation quickly, like gangrene. Though you might not admit it, you've probably seen that the first to judge you aren't being loving, they're just being mean. So now I admonish you to get out while you can. You're not leaving God, you're only leaving man. I don't miss what I left, and I don't look behind, because now I know that life is a state of mind.